Hey everybody, look where I'm at now. Check this out. I'm over at Broadlawns, over on Hickman. Now again, I'm over at the Iowa State Fair in the Varied Industries building right now. We're visiting with Kater Wingert. Uh, Katie, uh, Broadlawns on the east side where we are now at the Iowa State Fair. A very familiar site now, isn't it? It is. It opened in November 2016, and it's a family medicine clinic and also an urgent care. So if you get injured at the fair, which we hope you don't, but if you do, it's open seven days a week, and it's just down the street by AE Dairy. Yeah, and uh, since that place opened up, since your facility opened up over here on University, how successful has that been? Because that was really something that Broadlands uh, is very proud of and should be very proud of. Well, our mission is to address unmet health care needs, and we really looked for a long time when we opened our first off-site clinic. Uh, so it's been really busy, uh, so we definitely properly identified a location where there was a large demand for health care. Yeah, and it has become very, very popular, hasn't it? It has. Now, what can, be, what can you do at that clinic itself here? We, uh, we talked about this a long time ago, but what can be done at that clinic itself? So again, it's family medicine, so your routine annual physicals for all ages, um, and then also urgent care. So if you have an injury, seven days a week it's open, um, so they have x-ray and lab services to do diagnostic work. Um, but we do have a rotation of specialists too, so we have physical therapy, optometry and ophthalmology, um, the midwives are over there, so we do have a rotation oh, wow. of specialties as well. Well, so again, people over on this side of town, uh, they don't have to trek all the way into the downtown area, they can take care of business right here, right? Very conveniently located. Yep, very accessible. Now, uh, the main location over on, on Hickman, uh, it just continues to grow, and you have some uh, made some leaps and bounds over the past couple of years, haven't you? There's been quite a renaissance over at Broadlawn. So Broadlawns that you maybe remember from yesteryear has changed a lot. Um, we've got a big expansion initiative going on right now. We're adding a hospital floor to our SANS unit. That'll open next summer, and that will allow us to go to single occupancy med surge rooms, a new family birthing center, and a new ICU. And then we've also got our oncology centers undergoing a remodel, and that should be completed yet this fall. Yeah, and one of the things that people need to realize about Broadlawns is you uh, guys over there, you're on the cutting edge when it comes to the technology and the equipment that you have that people may not know about. Yep, we're, we're a smaller facility, but we do have access to the same technology as most of the larger system hospitals. Um, we have a new orthopedic surgeon who just joined our team a week ago, and he does anterior hip replacement surgery, so Dr. Theron Jameson. Um, we have a team of eight urologists that joined our staff a couple months ago, so they do cutting edge procedures for individuals with urology or bladder or kidney related issues. Um, and then we have you know foot and ankle doing 3D ankle replacements. Um, there's just a lot going on wow. at Broadlawn. 